Hello everyone. <laughs> welcome besties, welcome. Here, this is a, I, I, I finally got a Sony. I finally got one, look. D, DVP dash N S 575P. CD slash DVD player, I finally, now, now, there's a lot to know about this model here. This is not just any run-of-the-mill Sony DVD player. This 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 particular model, this particular model was designed. It was designed. It's designed to look like this on purpose. It's designed to fit on top of those big CRT televisions from 04 to 08. Like the last ones that were being made that Sony was producing, they this was this was manufactured to put on top of it, because it has because it has all the outputs for it, and it has the it also has the black black level control the video so like the black light level, you're able to control that through this player on the TV. It's designed for that, and it's also designed for the TV virtual surround. So the surround speakers within built in the television, it's designed for all that. And this one right here was this one right here was made in two thousand four, March sixteenth. I, I look. I took the. I took the. I took the cover off. That's what it said. That's, that's when it was manufactured. This model was originally seventy nine dollars new in two thousand four. They kept that price tag all the way up to the very end. Up until 2008, they were still selling these for, for $79 new. If you look online, if you look online, they, they, they go for about, they go for about $100 to, actually 100 to, to 150 You can find them, you can find this model anywhere from, all the way from like five bucks all the way up to 150 You can find it anywhere for there, anywhere. Now, now let's take a look at the back of this thing. Let's take a look at the back of it. It's going to be kind of difficult. But I'll, I'll try to show you the back of it. I'll, I'll scoot it up just a little tiny bit here so we can look at the back of it. So, there, it's got a switch here for the progressive. And... It's just got the, it's just a regular DVD player, pretty much run of the mill back, but the features on this thing are amazing. The features on this thing are amazing for, for 2004, this was, this was top of the line. Keep in mind, keep in mind, Sony was no longer doing budget models anymore. In 2004. In 2004, they were no longer doing budget models. Like, for example, like they were no longer having the cheap model anymore. This, they went away. They went away with the cheap model that year. There was no budget model. There was none. So every model after that had S video. As a matter of fact, in 2008, they brought out the only Blu-ray player on the model. Uh, I'm the only Blu-ray player out there on the market with S video. It's called the S5500 or 500. I can't can't pronounce it, but it's like it's 550. That's what it is. It's like S550. This one right here is from 06, and this one right here has S video. It's from 06. They made this made this model right here for three years. This was the model that was brought out after that. The compete. And then they then they brought out a model after this one, a year after. I think it was I think yeah, it was in 07. They brought out one two years after this one was just right, right before it was ready to right before it's ready to be discontinued. So I managed to find some information online about this one. It was new. It was rated 7. It was rated 7.4 out of 10 on crutchfield.com. On their electronics, their electronics company that does only stuff online only. And 
I found I found the review for this. They said it was brilliant. They said it was the best player that Sony's brought out since like the very beginning, almost. The quality of this, on the other hand, it must be is actually really good for this model. You can find this model anywhere for any price, basically. You could find it new for 150 bucks to 100. You could you could buy it used for less than that. I I didn't spend that much on this. I think I spent ten dollars on this one. Ten dollars on this model, on this one right here. It's it's silver, which is very unusual. So here we are again, after you saw all the pictures and everything. This thing is amazing. I've, I've seen, I've never seen a DVD player before. Other than the past one I had that was made in 02. These, like for example, when I said that they no longer were, they were no longer making a budget model anymore, like an entry level one. They were no longer, Sony was no longer producing an entry level an entry level CD or DVD player anymore. They were going like, for example, like the bot, like the carpet here is like the carpet here is like tier one. Is like the cheap models, you know, like the budget models. Here between here between the tape deck and the DVD player that we're talking about, that's where that one was. It was pretty much like second tier, and. And it was basically like, that's basically where they were building all of them at. They were basically making them all to be like, um, like good quality. Like the bet, like they were no longer making them cheap anymore in 04. It was basically the end of it. Like the, it was like the final, I should say that they were still making pretty, they were still making the cheaper models probably still yet, but that was the end of introducing any new models. Now... This room, now when I bought this one, it did not have a remote. Unfortunately, I kept the remote from the last one I bought. So, I kept the remote control from the last one. Usually, it opens up. We usually, when you click the. There it goes. See, it's very unusual. This model's very weird. It disappears. And then it... No, there's no disc in there. I don't know why. It, it, like, the light disappears. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the front of it. When I did take this apart, I did notice this. The whole front panel part... This whole front panel... All the way across is made, was made in Philippines. It was made somewhere else than the rest of the whole thing. The rest of the thing was made in Malaysia. So this was like most people most people remember buying a Sony VCR or, you know, any type of amplifier or anything like that from like the 90s. Most of all that stuff was made in Malaysia. Well, they continued that on same thing with like camcorders. They were made in Malaysia, either made in China, Malaysia or Japan. Most of the stuff was made in Malaysia. All the good stuff was made in Malaysia and Japan. All the cheap stuff, all the like the the cheap stuff was, they started. They I think I looked online. They opened their Chinese factory in like two thousand and two thousand two. I think it was, and they were starting to make the cheap stuff there, like the cheaper models. So this one right here being a Malaysia model, you can kind of see here. This is kind of got the light transport through it. That was a new thing at that time period, almost. It opens very slowly, like you would expect. 
It still has that cheap drive. Cause keep in mind they went away with it and they kind of put they kind of put the tier two and tier one together to produce a tier two. Point I think it was like point two no point five. And keep in mind the higher end models, like the models that would have been like a few hundred dollars when this model came out, those were dropped price immediately. Immediately those were dropped price down. I think around like two hundred dollars. And then they also brought in the new, most people remember this, like they would have an amplifier with like a built-in DVD player. Those came out, those started coming out from Sony. Before that, they were all made with built-in VCRs. Then they went to like DVD, they went to like VCR and DVD combo. Um, home, 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 um, theater systems. You could hook the, hook the speakers right up to the back of it. Those... Those started coming out, I'd say, right around 2000. Sony was a very early adopter of all this stuff. So, we've got a video here from Blockbuster. Looks like it came from, I think it says Economwalk. I can't read that. Economwalk, Wisconsin, I think that's what it says. 262. Keep in mind, keep in mind we do live in Wisconsin, so unfortunately all of our vehicles rust out really quickly. All of our vehicles, all of our, you know, farm, everybody's farm equipment usually dies prematurely. No wonder why, no wonder why they make, no wonder why they make new vehicles as fast as they ever, ever have, ever have. Especially with DVD players. The humidity kills everything during the summertime. So. So this is from 2001. This is... American Rhapsody. And like I was saying before, this player, look how old that is. When was the last time you've seen a blockbuster movie where they actually have the sticker right there on the disc? You don't you don't see that much anymore. Especially with being, you know, older movies. Just in general. There's a little bit of um Stuff there on the disc I just had to wipe off. I don't know why that was there. Must have come off from the back of the... Must have come from off the back of the case. Yeah, let's see. It's there. And I wonder what that is. Didn't see that earlier. I forgot to show it to you. There, see. I forgot I didn't forgot I didn't realize I didn't have the camera over there. Oh well. Turn down the amplifier because we don't wanna get this copyright stuff. You can hear it's super loud for a DVD player. I mean this is the loudest one I think I've ever ever seen. I know the light on models, I know the light on DVD VCR combos, I know those things can get pretty loud. It's like vibrating. It's usually a sign that the that's usually a sign that the disc is unbalanced. Usually, when you hear that, when you hear the vibration inside and everything. It's like we're at the play menu. Obviously, I'm not going to show the screen on this on the television because it's rated R. I think you know it's rated PG-13, and I don't want. I don't want to be. Ta I don't want this video to be taken down for like X-rated or PG-13 rated material. You don't want that, now do you? Because it says down here, it says, "Parents strongly caution: some material may be inappropriate, so like violent. I don't want none of that to come up on there." So. You saw, I noticed this about these buttons. They don't, they don't work very well. Click this. I clicked it twice now and it still, it didn't take it. You actually have to push it like really far in. 
I'm wondering if that's just a problematic with this particular model or if that's just the way how they all are. Because this is my first time ever dealing with this model. I've never owned one of these before. I usually try to stay within the five-year gap. Actually, I usually try to stay within the... Um, Within the within like the years before Blu-ray was introduced, like two thousand and three and older, I usually don't buy ones that are like this new. So I usually don't have. I usually don't deal with this kind of stuff. But these buttons being like this, because that's usually means the plasticky. They're made in China. This whole front panel, like I said before, was made in Malay was made in um, Philippines. That's what it said when I opened it up. I looked in there, and that's what it said. It's behind this. It said that. Click the play button. I clicked. I turned on the autoplay, so I don't know why it's doing this. I turned on the autoplay on the menu. There won't be any sound because I've got that turned off. We don't want to. We don't want to get any copyright for that. So it plays the CDs just fine. And most people be like, "Well, you know, you've gone through three CD players and what now? About three years? Yep, we've gone through three of them and now in three years, they just don't last anymore. I guess the used ones." Well, somebody explained to me. I was out and about at uh, I think it was Goodwill. Somebody explained to me, people these days are no longer donating anything good anymore. They're no longer donating, you know, like the, like the good DVD pliers. Like, no, like people are donating these things just because they stop working nowadays. It used to be where people would donate them because they didn't need them anymore. Nowadays, people are donating them because they can't get them to work anymore. And I think that's kind of sad. Because I remember when I was, I remember when we had that other Sony last year. I think it was March. It was a big black one. Big black one. It just quit. You saw that. I had the whole thing taken apart and I couldn't figure it out. Well, somebody told me and said, it's the laser. You got to clean the laser. So I was like, okay. So I got this one right here, which is a LG it's funny. It says Meg the Vox, but you look you look at the back of it, the FCC ID number. It's really it's really an LG. And Samuel, you'll find you'll see a lot of Samuel ones that look like this, especially Meg the Vox. There was an LG model that was made just like this. They're all made by the same company, LG. And this bottom one here is a Samsung. That's funny, right? It's a Sony, but no, it's really a Samsung. Look at the back of this stuff before you buy it. Honestly. Yeah, well, this one right here, I cleaned the laser on. I used the alcohol and I use a I use a Q chip. Nope. It does still just doesn't play CDs. I'm wondering if there's something wrong in here with the laser. So yeah, I've cleaned, I've tried, I've tried cleaning it, you know. It's just the way it's supposed to be. So this one right here works just fine. I don't know why anybody would have gotten rid of it. So I highly doubt I highly doubt that guy was talking, you know, any truth at goodwill about people donating, you know, DVD players that, you know, people are getting rid of them just because they don't work anymore. I think people are getting rid of them now because Sorry about that, folks. The, the iPhone's only at the max of storage. It's kind of impressed by that. It's like, wow. So, I don't really know about the quality. I mean, quality amount, you know, these anymore. I mean, going to Walmart nowadays, you buy a new Sony DVD player for 40 bucks. What are you going to get? I mean, this was $79 new originally back in 04 to 08. So... And keep in mind, these were produced originally for the Sony WGEGA televisions with HDMI that they produced from, I guess, 03 to like 08 or 04 or something like that for like a long time. So that's what this model was made for. It's the reason why it's designed like this, the reason why it's shaped like this. See, it's got these little 
feet underneath of there. It's got these like little silver feet down there. It's designed for that because it's designed to go underneath. It's designed to go on top of the television. And I think it's designed for your, for it's the, I think it's designed for your, you know, combo unit to go, um, you know, underneath. I mean, you know, underneath this. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And peace out. Super Satin Productions.